I will now give the floor to the Vice President from um, Belarus. You have the floor, Madam. Thank you, Mr. President. Allow me also to express our condolences and sympathies to the people of Antigua and Barbuda and to you, Mr. President, personally. This shows how we all need to, to foster sustainability and contribute to sustainability. We thank Executive Director of UNICEF, Anthony Lake, for his opening statement and his capable leadership of UNICEF in ensuring smooth, systematic work to promote and protect children's rights. We are convinced that UNICEF's work is particularly important in the context of the implementation of the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda by member states, because fully develop, uh, delivering on the ambitious goals in the agenda will be impossible without fully accounting for the rights and interests of children. On our part, we would like to emphasize that Belarus has always supported UNICEF's interests in favor of ensuring the well-being of children, protection of childhood, and ensuring equitable opportunities for the development and empowerment of each child is an investment in our future, and Belarus has made significant achievements in this area. We are 25th in the ranking of the best countries for motherhood, and Belarus is also continuing to actively promote the UNICEF initiative, Child Friendly Cities, on the national level. Belarus thanks UNICEF for preparing the draft strategic plan for 2018-2021 and the constructive nature of consultations with member states in developing the plan. We would like to positively note the fact that the strategic plan reflects UNICEF's commitment to the key principles of operational activity, which are defined in the Universal UN Documents on Development, including the Fund's focus on close constructive cooperation with aid recipient countries. We are convinced that children in all countries of the world should have equitable chances for development and a decent childhood, regardless of the level of income and development of their country. Children are the most vulnerable group of the population, which requires a special approach and special attention. In this regard, we would like to support the inclusion in the strategic plan of key areas of UNICEF's work aimed at creating a favorable environment for children and preventing the root causes of various forms of child exploitation. In this context, combating child trafficking is particularly important, in particular through the internet, which which plays a large role in the lives of the younger generation. We support that the plan also includes as one of UNICEF's areas of activities promoting and protecting the rights of children with disabilities. We believe that support for families and family values should pervade all areas of UNICEF's work to protect the rights and interests of children. We welcome UNICEF's initiative to expand its donor base through new partners. Nonetheless, regular resources remain a problematic issue not only for UNICEF, but also through other United Nations development system entities. In this regard, we count on donor support for UNICEF to allow it to effectively work in favor of the most vulnerable group, children. To conclude, we'd like to express hope that the strategic plan will be adopted smoothly and that the lofty goals it contains to protect the rights and interests of children will be implemented effectively. Belarus is prepared to continue working constructively with UNICEF to operationalize the strategic plan in Belarus under the leadership of UNICEF Office Representative Rashad Sarvara. We have developed excellent capacity for this and we will continue to support the coherent work of the country office, which has already carried out a number of useful projects. I thank you. Thank you, Madam Vice President, Excellency, and thank you for your words of solidarity and support to Antigua Barbuda.